Joining us now from St. Louis is Tina Meyer, whose daughter Megan committed suicide after being cyberbullied. And with her is 17-year-old Brittany Jor Jordan, who is a cyberbully victim herself and also tried to take her own life. Ladies, good morning. Thanks so much for joining us. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. You're welcome. Brittany, let me begin with you. When you hear Phoebe's story this morning, do you think to yourself, that was almost me? Yes, I do. It makes me hurt inside knowing that she took her own life. At your lowest point, Brittany, how bad did the cyberbullying get? It got bad enough to where I was hospitalized and to where I was a totally different person. Why did you think that suicide was the only option? I just thought it was the only way to go because I was put down so much that I thought that it was just the only thing I could do to get away from all the hurt and pain. Did you ever try to reach out to anyone? Um, no, I didn't. Why not? I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to say to anybody. I want to bring in Tina, who I know has counseled you a lot, Brittany, uh, through your tough time. Tina, you lost your daughter Megan to this. Did you ever have any indication of what she was going through? Well, Megan's was handled differently. Megan was cyberbullied for a two-hour period. Um, mm. She talked to Josh Evans for five weeks, but her cyberbullying happened differently, um, where I think sometimes cyberbullying that happens over a repeated period of time, there are different signs that you can start seeing. Megan, yes, I was very vigilant. I knew what she was doing on the computer, um, but hers happened a little differently than most do. Now you've studied this, you know so much about this. What are some of those signs that parents should look out for? I think some of the most important things parents can do for the teens is one, talking to your kids, having an open communication, knowing what they're doing on the computer, not allowing them to have a computer in the other room, and not knowing what's going on, knowing if they have a Facebook, a MySpace account, knowing who their friends are online. If they start having their grades drop, not wanting to go to school, not using their cell phone like they did before, not getting on the internet like they did before, they're starting to be isolated from some of their friends. There are a lot of signs that the kids will start showing. Um, they just obviously, you know, don't want to um, start showing depressed signs. And these things, a lot of times I say this before, children don't have to always be depressed to go through these types of situations when they're being cyberbullied. It's not just depressed children. These can be everyday kids who are going through their lives that can all of a sudden get in a situation that are being cyberbullied that can transform them into the situation and it can be devastating for them. Let me give you the last word, Brittany. You survived this. Uh, you're, you're such a role model to kids out there who are going through this. What is your advice to them? Um, my advice to them would to be to know that they're loved and to know that people care about them and, and that they can make it through this and that people love them and they can do it. To reach out to other people and talk. Yeah. You know, get to, some help. To get help and talk to people and let them know how you're feeling instead of taking your own life and not getting the chance to talk to anybody and tell them how you felt. Brittany Jordan, Tina Meyer, ladies, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you.